Pakistan is appalled by the sheer magnitude of illegal, disproportionate and dis indiscriminate use of force, tyranny and injustice being perpetrated by the Israeli occupation forces against defenseless Palestinians. There are no words strong enough to condemn the systematic and barbaric crimes against the Palestinians. The deteriorating conditions in the occupied Palestinian territories due to the illegal practices of Israel, the colonial policies and its continued aggression, siege and collective punishment are sickening. The indiscriminate use of force by Israeli forces against defenseless Palestinians is tantamount to grave violations of principles underpinned in international law, including international humanitarian and human rights law. In the wake of the deteriorating conditions of the people of Palestine, my Prime Minister, Prime Minister Imran Khan, has spoken with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz, Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, and the President of Palestine, President Muhammad Abbas. I've also been in touch with my key regional counterparts, including Brother Riyad al Malki. The latest spate of Israeli aggression cannot be justified or condoned. At this somber juncture, we reaffirm our unflinching solidarity with the government and people of Palestine, valiantly defending their legitimate rights. We salute their courage in the face of unabated Israeli atrocities and preserving their Arab and Islamic identity. Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, Pakistan condemns in the strongest possible terms the continuing airstrikes by Israel and Gaza that have resulted in deaths and injuries to many innocent Palestinians. Pakistan also condemns in the strongest possible terms attacks on innocent worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque, violating the very sanctity of Qibla Yawal. Death and destruction in the holy month of Ramadan during Eid al-Fitr is unacceptable. Endless, senseless violence must end. The respect for sanctity of religious places is well established in international law. In this regard, Pakistan played a key role during its non-permanent term in the Security Council in 1968-69. In addition to adopting Pakistan-initiated resolutions 252 and 267, the Security Council also adopted Resolution 271, also initiated by Pakistan, following the burning of Al-Aqsa Mosque on 5th of August 1969. We are also gravely concerned at the continuing expansion of Israeli settlements in the occupied territories and expulsion of Palestinians from their properties. The tragedy of forced evictions from the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood of Al Quds Al Sharif is the latest manifestation of the systematic Israeli effort to change the demographic structure, historical and legal status, and Arab Islamic and Christian character of Al Quds Al Sharif. This is patently illegal, immoral, and unacceptable. Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, all necessary steps must be taken for stopping the ongoing aggression against the Palestinian people and their properties. We call for immediate action on the following. One, 
the international community must protect the Palestinians against the blatant and illegal legal use of force and flagrant violation of human rights. It should urgently intervene and take concerted actions to stop Israeli atrocities against civilian population in Gaza. The bombardment in Gaza must be stopped immediately. Two, implementing forthwith resolutions adopted by the UN Security Council, UN General Assembly and the UN Human Rights Council is both critical and urgent. Three, Israel's crimes against humanity should not escape accountability. There should be no impunity for Israel's violation of international law, including the fourth Geneva, uh, the fourth Geneva and the various other human rights conventions. Four, attempts to create a false equivalence between Israel, the aggressor, and Palestinians, the victims, are inexcusable as the collective voice of the Muslim Ummah. The OIC should work in unity to dispel this deliberately deceptive perception. Attempts to silence media and reporting through tyranny, evident from Israel's horrifying airstrike yesterday, bringing down a high-rise building in Gaza that housed media outlets is unacceptable. The OIC owes its genesis to the Palestinian issue. In this hour of need, the Muslim Ummah must exhi exhibit strong solidarity and support for their Palestinian brothers and sisters. As a matter of the executive, as a member of the executive committee and the next chair of the Council of Foreign Ministers, Pakistan remains ready to join hands with other OIC member states in any move to stop the ongoing bloodshed and restore human dignity and human rights of the Palestinian people in the occupied territories. Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, let me conclude by reaffirming Pakistan's abiding support for the Palestinian people in their just struggle to secure legitimate rights, particularly their inalienable right to self-determination. I also reiterate Pakistan's support for a two-state solution in accordance with the relevant United Nations and OIC resolutions with pre-1967 borders and Al-Quds Al-Sharif as the capital of a viable, independent and contiguous Palestinian state. In the absence of such a solution, any notion of human dignity would remain tainted. Regional peace, elusive, and international security imperiled. We must not fail the Palestinian people at this critical juncture. I thank you all. وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی او آئی سی کے اجلاس سے ویڈیو لنک پر خطاب کر رہے تھے اور آبویسلی جو ایک بڑا کنسرننگ میٹر ہے وہ ہے اسرائیلی جاریہ جو گزشتہ کچھ عرصے سے ہم دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ فلسطین میں جاری ہے اور اس کی سات سال کا ریکارڈ اب ٹوٹ چکا ہے جس نویت کی وہاں پر بمباری کی جاری ہے اور اب وزیر خارجہ یہ فرماتے ہیں کہ اقوام متحدہ اور او آئی سی قراردادوں کے تحت دو ریاستی حل کی حمایت کرتے ہیں اور اس کو تجویز کیا گیا ان کی جانب سے اور وہ یہ کہتے ہیں کہ اسرائیلی جاریت سے معصوم فلسطینی شہید ہو رہے ہیں اور انہوں نے اسرائیل سے یہ مطالبہ کیا کہ فوری طور پر اسرائیل اپنی جاریت ختم کرے اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ اسرائیل کی جاریت بلا جواز ہے اور پاکستان نے ہمیشہ عالمی سطح پر فلسطین کے موقف کی حمایت کی ہے ماہ رمضان میں اس طرح کے حملے انسانی حقوق کی خلاف ورزی ہیں اور اسرائیل کی جاریت ختم ہونی چاہیے